Hey there, laser makers. Jim, the laser guy here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial explaining uh, origins and starting positions. It seems to be a point of confusion for a lot of people. So, um, on my screen here, what I have is kind of a representation of my laser. In my in my laser's case, the starter or the home position is the top left. Uh, so. What I've drawn here is a rectangle representing my laser bed, um, and then the switches, uh, the X home on the left and the Y home on the right, or on the top. Um, so when the laser starts and it initializes its home, it's gonna go until it hits those limit switches, and your limits may be in a different location, so your home position may be in a different spot. But uh, when it starts, basically, that's going to be your zero zero position so when it comes off of those switch and finds where they are that's going to be the zero zero position um, so in light burn when you're starting a starting a job you have some op options here for uh, absolute coordinates user origin or current position and now the way absolute coordinates works is once it finds home again like i said the top left is going to be your zero zero position so if you build a jig uh so let's say you you build a jig that has you know some objects in it whatever um, and you want this to always be in the same spot what you would do is you would build that jig to uh orient itself to a specific position right so um, i might build this jig uh, and design this so that it fits right against uh, some position so that I can find it every time. Or I might have mounting holes or some type of bracket that allows me to position this jig. And I don't necessarily want to mount it in the top left of my, of my laser, so I might mount it, you know, somewhere that I can repeat every time. Um, and so the absolute coordinates um, would be like so for this jig the absolute coordinates right now uh, based on my workspace is like 335 287 right so um, and that's the center of this jig if I wanted the top left 285 uh, 234 would be the this top left corner of this of this jig that I just drew on the screen so absolute coordinates is going to be the same location every time so like this is always going to be zero zero and the starting position um, will always be in that spot All right so it, so so like zero zero so basically my workspace um, my entire workspace in light burn zero zero is the starting position so home is my starting position and that's always going to be the case so i would need to put everything in a location that's relative to that um, so for my laser however since i run a ruida controller this may not apply to a lot of um, um gerbil uh lasers because i don't know that they have the ability to store uh, origin points um, so for my laser I can store an origin so I can move the laser head somewhere uh, and set the origin to that location and so now the starting point of my job is where I've set that origin to um, this is kind of similar to um, current position um, however it's not saved in the laser, right? So current position, like if you move the laser head to somewhere and you position a workpiece underneath the laser head and you want to start from there, um, you, you could use current position. However, that's that's not very repeatable um, and you certainly can't, uh, certainly wouldn't want to use that like if you're trying to line up in a jig and replace a piece, uh, replace a workpiece every time. Um, so like for me though i can set the user origin so i can put um build a jig that positions anywhere on my workspace um, put some registration marks on the jig so that i can line up the jig uh just with the current position of the laser head and then set the origin to that spot and start the job from there 
Um, and I know this is maybe like a, a little bit of a confusing explanation of origins and starting positions, um, but hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, if you have additional questions, please throw them in the comments um, and let me know and I'll try to clarify or post a follow-up video. Thanks.